Hello everyone, Luis Perez here with a iMovie tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to import video from a camera. So the first thing I've done here is I've launched iMovie and so I found the icon for it in the dock, I clicked on it and now I have iMovie open. At the bottom of the screen I'll have a list of my projects and the first thing we need to do is create a new project so that we have a blank canvas to work with. To create a new project just go up to file choose new project and then here you can choose a number of different themes each of these themes has some motion graphics already included with it with animation and so on but here we're going to choose no theme uh, for this tutorial I'm going to give the project a name I'm going to choose the aspect ratio and I want to make sure this matches the aspect ratio that I used to record on my camera and then generally the frame rate will leave it set to 30 frames per second NTSC. Uh, we can automatically add uh, a cross dissolve transition but I'm going to leave that set to off right now. Uh, I like to add my own transitions and so now that I have everything set up the way I want it I'm going to click on create. Now if your screen doesn't look like this there's actually a swap button It's right next to the camera icon in the toolbar and you can swap the events and projects by clicking on this button and it does that with a nice animation. So let's set this back. I prefer to have the project at the bottom because this is the way most video editing programs are arranged. So um, if you don't see that arrangement, just make sure you swap the two so that events are at the top and your projects at the bottom. So we want to import our video into our event library. The event library holds related clips together. So each event is a series of clips that are related somehow. And so to import from the camera, we're going to make sure that our camera is connected. And usually this is done with a USB cable. We're going to choose File, Import from Camera. And since we're using a camera that uses flash memory, uh, it's going to show us a list of clips. And we can select from individual clips. We don't have to rewind the camera to go to a specific part of the video like we did when we used tape cameras. So here I can choose Automatic, and it would import all of the clips that are in the camera or I can choose manual and then I can select individual clips. So I'm going to uncheck all because I don't want to import everything and then I'm going to go through and check the clips that I want to import which in this case is these last five here. When I'm ready to import I'll go ahead and click on import checked and then here I need to select the hard drive where I'm going to save it and generally this will be your primary hard drive that's installed on your computer unless you're saving it to an external hard drive and then you would select that here I'm going to create a new event and I'm going to call this event lounge and you have the option here to split your uh, days into events so if you record it over a weekend you could have an event for Friday, one for Saturday, one for Sunday uh, you can also analyze the video that you're bringing in for uh, stabilization. So if you have shaky video, it can fix it for you. But it takes a little bit longer to do that. And for now, I'm not going to check that option just to save some time. And then you get to optimize the video. I'm going to leave it set to large. That should be uh, good enough to work with. So I'll go ahead and click on import. and it will show me a progress bar underneath each clip to let me know that it's being imported. Once you're finished importing all your clips you can click on done and your clips will show up in your events library. So now if I go under 2012 I'll see an event called lounge and then right there I'll see all the clips that I've imported. 